What's on my mind this morning, listeners, is about the states of public emergency. We've been living with various states of public emergency for more than a year and a half already. And something that the Prime Minister said in the House of Representatives on Tuesday really caught my attention. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has finally come clean to the nation about how long his administration intends to use the SOEs. So like I said, we've been living with them more than a year and a half, with the first one declared in St. James in January 2018. And that parish has remained under a state of public emergency for the better part of that period, with just a short break between December, when the PNP voted against another extension, and April, when the government reinstituted and expanded it to Hanover and Westmoreland. And all this time, though, everyone has been saying... SOE is a short-term measure. SOE is a short-term measure. SOE is not a long-term sustainable crime-fighting strategy. Well, we finally know that it is indeed intended as a fairly long-term strategy, depending on what you consider long-term, certainly at least medium-term. Prime Minister Holness announced in Parliament this week that they want to use this measure for five to seven years. I think that there should be a unified approach to just pushing that murder rate right below that 1,000 psychological barrier. If we can do that as a country, we would be well on our way, well on our way to attaining the regional average, which is here at 16. The world average is here at 6. At 16, we would be having somewhere in the region of 500 murders per year. If we continue to use this strategy in a selective way, give ourselves five to seven years and we can bring our murder rate down to 16, 400,000 or 500. And then after that, you would be in a position to now use conventional methods to maintain that and reduce crime fully. Hmm. So five to seven years is a long time. Uh-huh. It's at least medium term venturing into long term. And pe- different people have different definitions of what long term is, medium term is. In politics, five years is an entire political term. Five to seven years or more or, or, or more. Or, than a political term because oh, exactly. the maximum is five years. Yeah, seven years is definitely more than an entire political term We're going into a term and a half. And it's a significant uh, statement from the prime minister to hear him say that because I hadn't heard anyone else say that before Tuesday. Not him, not any of the security experts who speak when these SOEs are announced, not the security minister, no one. Uh, I hadn't heard anyone say that this is how long they intend to keep this thing going. We've been made to guess, yeah? As, ju- as the government comes to parliament every three months for another extension and another extension and another extension. And the opposition keeps asking, well, how many more extensions do you need? Mm-hmm. You know, how long do you plan to actually keep this thing up until they finally uh, voted against it in December? Well, we've never gotten an adequate answer until now. So five to seven years. That's definitely something to ponder. But let me tell you, I actually think the PM makes a strong case for it. The intention, he said, is to bring the nation's murder rate in the first instance to the regional average. The regional average is 16 per 100,000. Jamaica is in the upper 30s to 40s per 100,000. Now, the regional average is already, the Latin America and the Caribbean, is already one of the highest in the world. So 16 per 100,000 still isn't acceptable globally, Mm -hmm. but it's better than where we are now. And the regional average would bring our numbers to about 500 a year. So when we were reading the the story out of the Bahamas, Patria K, you were saying, oh, I wish we had these numbers, 200 and something. But remember as well, they have a much smaller population than we do. So... 
So that's another factor to consider. But but for us to see 500 a year would be a dramatic improvement from a thousand plus a year. And I've said before in this space that I do fully support the states of public emergency and their extensions. And I chastised the PNP, the opposition, when they voted against them in December. And I support them for as long as is necessary, even if it is five to seven years. If the PM and the the security experts who advise him think that they need to be in place for five to seven years, then I support their continued extension for five to seven years. And, And why? Because it's worked. And not just because it's worked, but because it's the only thing that has worked. It's the only thing that has given the results that we've seen. Take it as you want, yeah? You hear all kind of people coming out with all kind of ideas. Oh, you should do this and you should do that. And you need to do something about crime, but don't do that. Don't the state of emergency. You need to do something about crime, but don't do that. Do this instead. But this is what has worked. This is what has saved lives over the past year and a half. Yesterday, we spoke about Peter Bunting's ideas that he presented in his sectoral debate. And and ideas are great. Yeah, we welcome ideas. We welcome conversations. That's what we do on this program. We talk. Uh, But people can say anything they want. What we know for a fact is that the SOEs save lives. That has been proven. The statistics bear it out. They've saved lives. And from all indications, they will continue to save lives. And I think that justifies the measure for as long as is necessary. No other anti-crime measure has had the impact that the SOEs have had in reducing murders. And I challenge you listeners to tell me any other that has had the same impact that that this has had. Tell me any other anti-crime measure that has worked the way this has worked in reducing murders. And say what you want to say about it. That is just a fact. And so I fully support it for five to seven years or for as long as it takes. And the thing is, in five to seven years, the lower murder figures, the reduced crime, that will become the new normal. When you start moving into a medium to long term, into an entire cycle, in five to seven years, a youngster growing up could finish high school. Hmm. It's enough time to change their entire life's trajectory. You see, in a young person's life, age between 15 and 20, that's an important time. Or age between 13 and 20, seven years, that's a a critical time. It is the time that you take to change an entire upcoming generation and the experience they have in a community growing up. Can you imagine that? Five to seven years can do a whole lot. And for us who are a little bit older and people who are even older than us, Hmm. it might not sound like that long. But when you think about a teenager whose lived experience right now is hell, whose lived experience right now and their reality is murder, is shootings in their communities, And in five to seven years, you're able to change that entire experience for them. That makes a hell of a difference. And so, yes, we had it for a year and it went back up as soon as the measure was lifted in St. James. But in a more long term iteration of this thing, I think this will change the entire status quo. And then, like the prime minister says, we will be in a position to start using other crime-fighting measures once we've cauterized this thing and we're down to the 16 per 100,000, which brings us to 500 murders a year. And then we're down even further to the global average of 6 per 100,000. Can you imagine that? When we're at 200 murders per year for the entire island of Jamaica. Can you imagine that day? Mm. It seems like, like a fantasy like a vision. But I'm willing to give it a try 
because nothing else has worked, this seems to be at least getting us on the way there. So I'm here for the continuation of the states of public emergency because we've tried so many other things and they just haven't worked.